So here's how you can upload your Articulate Storyline or Articulate a Studio course to your actual website. Not a blog like WordPress, but this is actually just a regular website. Now you will need an FTP program, and then depending on the FTP program you're using, and as well as your hosting provider, you may see different things when you've logged in. So I've already logged in to my site. This is as high as I can go, high, highest level I can go. You may see folders in here that say HTML. Uh, if you see those, you might need to go down in that level because that's really where your site files are stored. It's really dependent on your provider, but um, once you've logged in, you just want to get to the root of where your, your site is located. And then it's just a matter of copying your published files. So in this case, I just have a folder of published files. I have the mobile files as well. But uh, I just gonna, I'm just going to copy everything. I want to select everything and then just move them over. And it'll do its thing. It's a pretty small little course. The only one you want to link to, the one that you care about here, is the story. Now, this actually has an extension, story.html. We just don't see it here uh, the way my Windows settings are set up. Um, my extensions are hidden, but you can see over here it's a uh, an HTML file. So when I come over here, I just want to grab that URL. Usually you can right click and choose something like, well in this case, properties. Um, I can't grab it on this with this one, but I store HTML is what I need to grab. So I'm just going to type in this name and then story.html. So here's my Google. Just drop that in and let's go ahead and hit enter. Now, one thing to note, so that's the file, right? Just have to link to the story. Now, the thing is, I haven't left myself room to put in another project, right? If I copy the contents of another published folder, it's going to overwrite everything here. So I might actually not want this here, and I might want to create a separate folder to put that course in. So I might do new folder, custom feedback, open this up, you see how it now goes down a, uh, a level and then grab those files. In this case, I'm seeing them also right here on my desktop and put them up on the server. This lets you manage multiple projects, especially if you're putting your, your, your e-learning portfolio online, then everything's nice and neat inside of a folder. And all you have to do is give that link down. So if I come back right here and I refresh this, it's not going to work. But if I type in that path, Right, so that's my folder, custom feedback, and then the story, there we go. Now the process is exactly the same for presenter, um, quiz maker, and engage. You would just link to either the player.html or the quiz.html type files, and your course will be loaded up there. So this would be the link that you'd want to uh, copy and then paste and then uh, send to the world.